Hello everyone, this is ASMR if you're welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial today I'll work with the brush tool and how to make the brushes and how to apply the brush in a portrait and make a new things or creative things so let's start the tutorial before we start my tutorial please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so I'm going to the file and new new options and I'll take the canvas which is the 2560 and 1440 and hit the create button and after that go to the just solid color and I'll take the black color or the blue like that this blue the code is 06090E so go hit the ok button and after that go to the file and place embedded options and here is the model i downloaded from the divina.com and i'll replace yes place this one and make it bigger and make it like that and hit the ok button and after that just right click and the restylize layer and right click again and convert to smart object and after that go to the file and new options and take the canvas thousand by thousand now I'll make a brush so go to the file again and place embedded and here is the law poly actually this connecting dots and I'll give that download link in my video description and just turn this one off and go to the edit options define the brushes and I'll give the name dotted brush and it's ready and I'll cross it and after that mask this one press I for the reverse mask and this one is black so I'll make it white like that and go to the brush options you'll get the brush and the last of the brush list so from here I have another brushes so I'll apply at first those brushes suppose this one yeah and the other brushes like that so apply the different type of brushes you can change the shapes so it will be amazing if you change the shapes yeah that's good and here okay and after that just I will increase the eye color that's why I'm going to the the brightness and contrast options I'll take a new blank layer and go to the brush again and take the first brush which is like that make it zoom make it smaller the size of the eyeball and this eyeball and go to the blending mode make it overlay options okay that's good and after that go to the adjustment layer and blending blending mode and make it drop shadow like yeah and then hit the ok button and after that take a blank layer and make it white or you can take the color from here yeah I'll make it like that and go to the brush again and the brush this one and make the brush like that so make it smaller at first or I'll change the direction yeah like that so I'll make it like that and the change the direction like this yeah that's good so it'll be like that and here you can just give another yeah that's good yeah you'll get like that and here is the brush this one so I'll take the white color and change the brush direction like this actually it should be like that yeah I'll make it is bigger I'll give like that 
and mask this one and take the brush this one make it smaller and I'll just brush over there yeah I'll also brush here also yeah that's good and I'll select just I'll go to the adjustment layer and the brightness and contrast make it mask increase the brightness and contrast as well and after that go to the color lookup options and use the horror blue color and make it mask and make it like this okay that's good and this one is our brush so you can make like this yeah that's good that's fine and from the brush tool again I'll go and take this brush and I'll change the direction here yeah that's good and make it smaller and take the color from here and brush over there so I should take the white one okay let's get yeah you can brush it a little bit so you can change the direction and that's good so dotted portrait so after that if you want to use your portrait or your photo you have to click here twice and just place here another image suppose like that press ctrl s you should adjust this one actually yeah this one is a good place yeah like that so after that go to the gradient options and the gradient and from here select this gradient and go to the radial option make it reverse and make it 200 make it 0 make it dither and select here and hit the ok button and go to the curves options from the curves option I'll go to the blue one and add some blue like that and go to the red options yeah I'll make like this and the RGB color yeah that's good so this one is the tutorial for today thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on the video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend until the next video I am SMRF signing out and bye bye